Hi, I'm Steven, the pet man from Big Apple Pet Supply, showing you ZooMed's line of linear and compact fluorescent lighting. And I have to say, in my opinion, this is probably my favorite brand of linear fluorescent lighting. Uh, superior quality UVB and UVA as well in their bulbs. Uh, they come in Reptisun 10.0, which is 10% being UVB, and 5.0, which is 5% of the total output of the bulb being UVB. Uh, if you're not using a mercury vapor bulb, this is probably one of my favorite choices, this linear lighting. It doesn't produce heat, it just produces light, but it also produces the UVA and UVB you're looking for in good, good quality UV. So um, what are you going to use this for? Tortoises, bearded dragons, chameleons, um, certain types of day geckos, a lot of um, basically lizards that, attra that are attracted to basking. So if it's a basking type of lizard, you're probably going to need some type of UVA and UVB. In this case, if you're not going mercury vapor bulb, again, I do like these products. Uh, Zoom In makes a great brand. They've been out there for a decade and change. Uh, we've been selling them, I think, for 15 years. So uh, it's, it's tried and true, and, and we really like them. I'm going to kind of take you a little bit through how you might use these bulbs. Um, you can use them on a screen top. You can use them without a screen top. Just remember that without a screen top, the UV is stronger, although I'm not majorly concerned with this type of product being too much UV unless you don't give your animal any escape from it. But the, the main idea is to allow your reptile to go into the light and also have a place where they can get away from the UV and the light. So let's do a little bit of testing on this product to kind of get an idea of what we're looking at for UV. So I'm going to start with the compact bulb first. And I'm, I'm actually testing the 10.0 in here. Just remember, whatever I test in 10.0 is about half in 5.0. So um, basically, let's go with this compact. Take our solar meter UVB tester and get a kind of basic understanding at about 8 or 10 inches where we're going to be. So at about 8 inches or so, we're looking at close to 50 microwatts, which is a good deal of uh, UV. Uh, to give you an understanding of what that means at 50 microwatts at that distance, we're talking about 150 microwatts uh, of, of, of UVB in, say, mid-America in the summer at 12 noon. As you move to the equator, you might get a little bit more UV. But that's your basic understanding. So that's why it doesn't matter whether it's 5%, 10%, because there's certain brands that we have tested out there that claim a 10.0 bulb. But the bulb output so little that 10% of 10 total watts, uh, putting out 10 microwatts, is a very small percentage. So it's not important the percentage. What's important is the actual amount of microwatts coming out of the bulb. So like I said, 10% of nothing is nothing. So um, let's move a little closer just to get an understanding of what happens when we move a lot closer to this bulb. Uh, once we're only at about four or five inches, we're at 100 microwatts of UVB. So you can see it doubled as you go from, say, four or five inches to, say, eight to ten inches. Um, either way, I'm happy with the performance of that quality amount of UV. It's a good amount of UV. So um, we're going to move to something else that's a linear fluorescent. And one thing I want to show you is it used to be the 24 inches bulb looks like a thickness of this that's currently in the 5.0. Eventually, these 5.0s will probably change also to T8 size. What does T8 versus T12 mean? Simply the diameter of the bulb. These save you a little more energy over a T10, uh, over a T12. So what's going to happen is expect that these bulbs eventually will shift over to T8s. But right now, you're going to see that the 10.0s are T8 bulbs. So if you don't have something like our smart light fixture, which is capable of handling a T8 bulb, you need to make sure your fluorescent fixture is capable. Otherwise, it will not ignite the bulb, and you're going to think it's defective, but it's not the bulb, it's your fixture. Okay, let's go ahead and test this linear. This is a 24-inch ZoomEd 10.0 linear fluorescent bulb. Okay, so we're getting at about uh, five, six inches away here. We're at about 75 microwatts 
If we move a few inches in, we go down to about 110 microwatts. That's at about three, four inches from the bulb, probably about four. As we move further out, a decent amount of what you would expect your lizard to be from the bulb, you're again at 50 microwatts. So I'm real happy with the output of these bulbs for most um, UV needing reptiles. And, and again, this is UVA and UVB. So uh, uh, I, I do like this brand very much. We've tested many other brands on the market and we only carry Zoom In and Exoterra because some of the brands that we tested out there really put out such a, a poor amount of UV that we just totally decided that we wouldn't carry them at all. So you can use the compact bulbs, 10.0 or 5.0, in either the Exoterra, which is a little bit more of a bulky look, and some people like that kind of hearty look, or you can go with something very sleek, which we have the bulb in now, which is the 12-inch naturalistic terrarium hood. So um, that's, the, that's the basis of, of this type of product. It can be utilized many different ways but it is an excellent way to give your animal the light, the UVA, and UVB that it needs. And UVA is more psychologically beneficial, whereas UVB is going to basically give your animal the ability to simulate calcium. That keeps your animal from getting metabolic bone disease, and you don't want that. So make sure that you mark your product. After you turn a bulb on and you put it on your cage, make sure you put a note somewhere that six months from that date, you are going to replace it. Don't wait a year, don't wait 10 months. After six months, replace these linear, linear and compact fluorescent bulbs because the moment you put them in, they start burning the UV. After six months, you're gonna have little to nothing left of that UV, so it's impor important that you replace them and give the animal what it needs. I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply, and I thank you for watching.